Hello, investors. This is Mike from Dividend Stocks Rocks. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I decided to do a small video to introduce you to all the features at DSR. Uh, basically, this video is intended for new members or for people that want to know a little bit what is inside the, the our membership website. So let me share my screen and start a quick tour right away. So here we are at the very beginning of the website. So this is the uh, homepage. Uh, for members, make sure that you are logged in. As you can see right here, I'm logged in as the dividend guy, obviously. If you're not logged in, you just click here um, where you can, uh, when you are able to put your information, uh, username and password right away. Uh, this is very important because all content, so all the stock reports or the investment stock cards and newsletter are all protected for members only. So all links uh, cannot be open uh, if you receive our Friday newsletter, for example, all links cannot be open through uh, the website if you're not logged in first. Um, once you log in, you will appear right here at the member. So this is a dashboard. Um, so basically this video is explaining you everything that is uh, mentioned in the dashboard. So for those who don't like to read too much <laughs> and better, uh, uh, watch it as a live example you can keep going on with this video if not you can go here uh, read about how to pick your portfolio model then look at our rankings our stock cards and at the end our premium newsletter so let's jump right away into the portfolio so if you click right here just on the uh, the name you will get to the uh, home page of the portfolios where you have access to all portfolios we have. So at DSR, we do have US and Canadian portfolios. All Canadian portfolios from the starter to, uh, two to 500K are 50% invested in Canadian stocks. The other half is invested in US stocks, while all US portfolios are just uh, covering the uh, American market. Uh, we have decided to do retirement portfolios and 100% Canadian for those who really wish to just invest in Canadian stocks. Um, at DSR, we believe in diversification, so obviously we think that the U.S. market offers more diversification. If you go a little bit further, and this is for everybody, not uh, members only, you have our uh, returns. So basically, analyze returns since inception, uh, total return over the past 12 months, over the past three years, total returns since inception uh, versus our benchmark. So we use a uh, VIG and XDV, uh, so two dividend paying uh, ETFs. To, to compare our returns. And this is the added value. So as you can see, for example, the Canadian starter portfolio beat the index, uh, the, not the index, but our benchmark by mo almost 30% uh, since its creation. Most portfolios were created back in 2013. So they're over five years old right now. And they give you uh, a good idea of uh, what's, uh, what, what, what kind of um, returns you can expect. So let's go back here and imagine that you want to look at the US 100K growth. So what you can do is either click on this link or you can do it through the uh, portfolios menu here. So when you when I put my uh, mouse over the US portfolio, I have the choice of all portfolios here. So let's go take a look at the 100K uh, US. Basically the way it's uh, built is that the uh, we're starting with four stocks for the starter and then we jump to 10 for 25K, then 20 holdings for 100K and then 30 for 500. So obviously uh, the larger the portfolio is, uh, the more stocks you have, but you also have duplicates from the, the smaller one. Cause so the idea is to move from the 25K to the 100 and then to the 100 to the 500K, depending on where you start in your investing journey. So if you go right here, you will be able to download the booklet, which is the uh, basically the portfolio report. We'll get that. We'll get there in a moment. But you can also 
d download all the uh, stock cards for each company. So you just have to click on the stock and you'll be able to download the stock cards or you can download the information here in an Excel format and play around to filters and stuff like that. You can also filter here uh, through dividend growth rate, revenue growth or earnings. So if I go back right here, click here for the portfolio booklet to see what's inside. I'll get a better idea right there. So all documents are protected. They're all uh, PDF documents as well. So the report that you will have here will give you the asset allocation, the average portfolio yield right now. So we're talking about something that is uh, in real life. So all the those are obviously virtual models, but we, tra we, we trade them and we track them as they were real. Following, you'll have all the list with the sector and our pro rating and dividend safety score will get there in a moment but those are part of the features that we offer at uh, dividend stocks rock going here you'll get um our proportion of uh, dsr pro rating with a strong buy which is 25 percent and then we have 15 percent of them that are old and the other one is uh 60 percent are buys uh, when you look at the dividend safety score, obviously we have only picked very strong uh, stocks. So all of them are either good dividend or stellar dividend uh, stocks. You'll have comments on latest trades this quarter. Uh, all trades are being uh, sent throughout our weekly newsletter. So each Friday you receive a newsletter. Uh, if there's any trade to be made in any portfolio, you'll have to mention trade alert. So you'll have the full trade there with the comments, but it is being also reported in the stock report. Going a little bit further, you'll have then uh, the recent earnings report for all stocks. So as you can see right now, we have Apple. Uh, we know what happened with the EPS, the revenue and the dividend, along with a quote from the CEO, uh, our analysis of the situation. And you can also click on the press release to go directly to see what happened to the stock right now and download the stock card. So as you can see, it's fairly complete as a portfolio a report. Uh, next feature is the ranking. So once you have selected your portfolio, you may not agree to haul or holding. So you may want to keep a, a few of your stocks. You may want to change it a little bit. So this is why we have uh, included our ranking. So now let's see the Canadian ranking. As you can see, the half of the website is uh, on about U.S. stocks. The other half is about Canadian. So it's really like a 50-50 kind of thing. So for the rock solid ranking, we do have our pro rating, which is a classic uh, sell to buy. So exceptional buys are rated as five. Screaming sells as rated as one. And then you have a dividend safety score with explanation. Again, from one to five, classic way to rate their stocks. Very easy to understand. And then you have the rock solid ranking. We also offer a potential upside or downside that is calculated based on the dividend discount model. So here's the DDM. So for example, for Andrew Peller, we have a current value right now at 14.75. Uh, the DDM value gives you a value of $11.43. Still has a pro rating and a dividend safety score of four. So why are we rating this stock as a buy since uh, there's no upside potential? So let's get inside look at the stock card and see what's happening here. So as you can see right now, the stock is overvalued, but uh, the company thesis right here will be, will be telling you that the stock is the dominant player in, the, in wineries in Canada. Uh, the dividend growth is very strong and this is why we, we believe that uh, this company should be in your portfolio. So going back right here, um, let's uh, take a look at our stock cards now. Uh, basically, the difference between the ranking and the stock cards is here you can search through uh, payout ratios, earnings, revenue, dividend growth, potential upside by yield as well. And you can also see the last update. As you can see, last update for Andrew Peller was done in July of 2018. Um, we update our stock cards twice a year. So obviously, uh, since this, this stock card is dated as of July, it will be updated during the month of January. So this is how we do it. Um, we're not into uh, doing something that is like 
close to uh, day trading. So unless there's an important news like a dividend increase or a dividend cut or a merger, we will not touch the stock cards for five, six months, and then we'll do another uh, update. So um, then again, you have it by sector, so you can do a filter by sector as well. So you say, let's say you want to take a look at um, at AT and T, for example, that was done uh, in December. So you click on it, it appears right there, and then you have the full stock card. So you have our business model, the company in a nutshell. So it's basically a resume of what's happening with the company, our investment thesis, why we think it's a good stock or a bad one. Then you have the uh, information about our uh, dividend discount model. So you have the dividend growth rate of 2% here because AT&T has been a long-term dividend grower, but over the past few years, uh, they were pretty much following the inflation and that's about it. Uh, discount rate of nine because it's a leader in the market. It generates lots of cash flow. So we have the intrinsic value right now at $29. Uh, we do have a full video explaining how to read the stock card. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but just want to show you how, to, like what it looks like here. And then on the second page, you will have uh, Graftel giving you some more information, um, then the potential risk and dividend growth perspectives. So now, um, last feature that we have on the website is our premium newsletter. Uh, you do start with the best 2019 dividend stock book. So this is a collection of 20 US uh, and 10 Canadian stocks that we think that will beat the market in 2019. We do that every year. Uh, you can also download as a bonus gift the dividend toolkit, which is a 200 pages uh, book about dividend investing and you have uh, all the explanation to do your own calculation and your spreadsheet to do your calculation for the dividend discount model and also the discounted cash flow uh, model as well. So right here you have all the archive for our previous uh, newsletter. So as I mentioned, we send a newsletter every Friday. But on top of that, we have like two larger issues, um, once on the first Friday and the other one on the third Friday of the month, where we include either an industry review, like here we have utility sector. Um, we uh, also issue a Mike's Buy list, so updates on the most important, interesting stocks at the moment. And we also uh, obviously include our portfolio reviews right there. Um, in late 2018, we started to do webinars like private webinars for DSR member only. So now we have a video section where you can have uh, previous webinars like investing in 2019 and beyond, dividend stocks to hold for uh, 2019. Then you have the stock art tutorials, stocks on sales, uh, dividend safety, how to make sure that companies pay their due in time. So those are all replays of previous webinars just for, uh, for your, um, your, your learning um, abilities uh, over there. And, uh, and you can get like lots of information. They, are, they will be classified as we grow this bank of videos. They will be classified into teams. So we're working on that right now. Um, and uh, it will be easier for you. But most of them, when we publish them on this page, uh, most of them are evergreen content. So this means that they are, it is good for today, but it will be also good in six months or two years down the road. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the website or how it works, uh, you click on the contact button, you send us an email. Um, we usually answer within a few hours if you're uh, sending the, uh, an email during uh, work time. Worst comes to worst maximum 24 hours and then you'll get an answer uh then again mikey Hu from dividend stocks rocks hope you have enjoyed this small video and uh i'm glad that i can uh, count you as a dsr member thank you for your trust cheers